trying to make us waste what little ammo we have left. Jason, do you ever get tired of putting your life on the line for me? Don't do that. This, don't this do is that. a byproduct of the life that I chose. Okay, fine. I'll give you that because if I was dating an insurance salesman, this definitely wouldn't be happening. But, okay, I, I want to be as happy as I am when I'm with you. I mean, sometimes I don't understand. I mean, I've pushed you through so much. I mean, what, do you, what do you get from it? Look at you. And that's all that really matters. I mean, and if you're feeling really guilty, you can make it up to me with a bowl bath when we get home. Hmm? I don't feel that guilty. I have to go file a motion now and hope I don't get laughed out of court. In the meantime, while I'm gone, please try to refrain from speaking to anyone you think might be sympathetic to your cause. It will only dig you in deeper. Johnny can still pull through. Unless John Zakara sees the light while he is under and decides to wash clean his sins by corroborating your story, I fail to see how his waking up can help you. I wouldn't get murder. Attempt it. But premeditated, thanks to Claire Walsh's private recordings. I realize that your dimples have gotten you so far, but did it really once never occur to you that she might be wearing a wire? Maybe I didn't want to see what was right in front of me. Wouldn't be the first time. Just might be the last. That's how this whole thing got started. Oh, oh. You guys were talking about Lily's father, and I came to you and asked you for the truth, and you lied to me again. You didn't need to know. I needed to know the truth. Why couldn't you trust me? Deceit. Betrayal. Those are words you know real well. Let's, uh, let's not talk about sad things. Let's celebrate. Yes, let's celebrate. That's exactly what... You're accepting my proposal. What are you talking yes, you about? Are. I am clearly not. <laughs> I am toasting you, however, because you are a big movie star. And um, I would like okay. to make toast to Murphy Sinclair, who is uh, in the studio's biggest movie franchise. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. To you. I'd first like to thank the Academy. And secondly, very special mention here to this beautiful, incredibly hot and talented model and philanthropist who's taken time away from her calendar, very busy calendar, to come to Lake Como and drink beer with me in a canoe. I don't want to get in a canoe. Today, I just am... Um, let's... Oh. We're on lines. We're on lines? I don't have let's lines. Let's run lines. That doesn't have any dialogue. He barely speaks. <laughs> Of course he doesn't. He doesn't. Of course he doesn't. He's distant and huh? aloof, seemingly aloof. Yes. Possibly mindless. And when he takes someone out, he has no regrets. Yes. Total disconnect. He feels nothing. So practice that. You feel nothing. Um. So, I forgot that you know all this, because you know the guy who can kill people with his bare hands. Yeah, my husband. Your what? <laughs> I mean... Your husband? The one husband that I ever had. It was a marriage of convenience. It meant nothing. I, I never even slept with him. Oh, okay. Ay, ay, ay. So you left at the altar three times. The one time you got through the ceremony was to marry a killer. Because it was convenient. Prince, yeah. you're attacking the beer bottle. Sorry. Honey, don't you think it's time that you got married for love? 